Hi guys, this is Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload new content. So Gemini, I feel like you are trying to make this decision to walk away from somebody who's acting like a player, who's drinking, could be drinking a lot. Um, but what I also see in this is that there could be someone doing trickery in the process. I feel like you're going to get justice for that. And I feel like you won't have to move on because you won't be alone. So stick around. Let's see where this goes. Gemini, let's get into your energy. Then we'll get into the energy of all 12 signs. Then I'll get into your spread and then I'll get you some clarity. So with that, Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity and guidance for Gemini, please. Oh, Gemini, you're showing up strong. Okay, so Gemini, you may have options. There may be options, illusion, confusion, or daydreaming. This is the King of Swords. King of Swords is Gemini's energy. Could be options. So we'll get some more clarity on that and see what's going on. So Holy Spirit, Angel, Spirits, and Guides, give me all 12 signs around Gemini, starting with Aries, please. You're dealing with an Aries. Someone's holding on to their two of cups. They're holding on to their, they want to hold on to this person that's their partner. If you're dealing with a Taurus, something that's taken a long time for this emperor to come, I feel like. Uh, there's something's been a long time coming where this emperor is concerned. Slowest moving night in the deck, but what it brings is stability, okay? Once it gets there, there's the emperor. So it's taken this, this Taurus a long time to get to the emperor. If you're dealing with a Gemini, another Gemini, I feel like someone's um, very discontent about a choice between two or discontent with a soulmate. You're dealing with a cancer. There's passionate communication about betrayal. If you're dealing with a Leo, Someone spying or watching the Empress here could be gathering information as well or truthful conversation, but I feel like somebody's watching the Empress. If you're dealing with a Virgo, someone's needing to find some balance or be patient to get the truth or to speak the truth. If you're dealing with a Libra. With that Three of Cups needing strength, I feel like somebody needs the strength to reconcile um, to reconcile with somebody. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, Scorpio may be the pre-empress here, you're, but you have the you have um, Gemini here as well. I want to get another card on this because you have the pre-empress and you have the Queen of Swords. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, there's two of you after a King of Pentacles here. So you have you have the Queen of Swords, which is you, Gemini, and then you have the Pre-Empress in between, and then you have a King of Pentacles. So the King of Pentacles, as there's a karmic, you may be the karmic in that situation is what I'm saying. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, someone wants to take the leap of faith and reconcile. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, um, someone's missing you and wants to communicate. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, there's something hidden with the moon card, something hidden with somebody from the past. So you could be hiding somebody from the past or there could be secrets about somebody from the past. And if you're dealing with a Pisces, there's a head over heart decision about emotional communication. Someone's making a head over heart decision to communicate. Okay, your energy, options, illusion, confusion, daydreaming, king of swords. There you go. So you may be, uh, I feel like you could be daydreaming here. Or you, there could be options. So let's get into this and find out. Holy Spirit, angel, spirits, and guides, clarity and guidance for Gemini. What does Gemini need to know?
Hey, Gemini, there's some burdens, somebody trying to master their emotions, um, not speaking. There may be a burden that you're not speaking to a king of cups, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio that unhappy about holding back or holding on and uh, not speaking maybe because of a third party, but I'll get some clarity on that. But there's a burden with the King of Cups, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Wish fulfillment. Looking back at the past mistakes. Very stuck up in your head about this. Needing to be patient. Empress energy. King of Pentacles. Pentacles is Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. But let's see what the what the problem is here. Somebody's out in the cold, heartbroken. So somebody wanted a victory to have somebody out in the cold and heartbroken here. Someone's making a head over heart decision to cut something out. They're taking the time to look at something with a different perspective and they're moving on. Under the bottom of the deck, there's an apology or an offer. Let's get some clarity for you. So Holy Spirit, angels, spirits and guides, clarity and guidance. For Gemini, why is there burden where the King of Cups is concerned? So there's been a lot, burden's been around for a long time where this King of Cups is concerned. So this could be somebody may have a drinking problem. This also could be whatever these burdens are, it's been going on for a long time because there's something hidden here, secrets. There's secrets about a King of Cups. Someone mastering their emotions. But I feel like this person could have. I, I'm feeling a very strong. A lot of drinking. A lot of drinking is going on here. But this probably could be, could be hiding the fact that this person has um, alcohol issues. Or there's secrets here. For a long time there's been something hidden. And it's caused a burden. But you're using your intuition. But you're not speaking. This is This is about you know. Again, keeping secrets, okay? Um, be patient about not speaking, using your intuition. So you're being very patient about it. You're thinking things through. Working on moving on. You're working on moving on. That's what this is saying here as well. Working on moving on. But I feel like you're kind of unhappy trying to understand something from a different perspective, trying to figure it out. I feel like you're feeling stuck. Feeling stuck, wanting to figure things out here. Holding on or holding back. You're holding on to a relationship, but you're really unhappy. You say like you're looking over at it. See, you're looking over at that with that, just what do I do, you know, kind of thing. Um, you want your wish fulfillment here with that king of wands. King of wands could be the emperor in a lower vibration, but this person's juggling. Okay. You see, this person's at a bar. There's a lot of drinking going on. So this person spends a lot of the time at the bar. This may be that King of Cups energy. You know, I'm, I'm seeing wish fulfillment, but I'm also feeling the energy of somebody drinking a lot, okay? Um, and I feel like this is the same. I'm getting the energy of for this King of Wands. I just immediately was drawn to the fact that he's a player. Like this person has a lot of um, options and your one of your cards was the king of swords with options. OK, so there were options. Somebody maybe frequents a bar here quite a bit. Um, very charismatic, good looking, goes for what he wants. There's juggling. There's a lot of there's a lot of back and forth. There's a lot of juggling going on here. Looking back at the past mistakes, being patient to have a victory. Okay, very, very stuck up in your head, sleepless nights. I feel like you really love this person, but you're also tired of being treated the way you've been treated. You're, you're being very patient, trying to find balance to transform something or end something. You're coming in as the empress here. The empress here is very um, out in the cold out in the cold because of the burden. You're left out in the cold because of a burden here. You know, the Empress, she is about creativity. She's about new beginnings. But 
I feel like with this energy, you are out in the cold because of whatever burden this is. There's a burden of somebody drinking too much and cheating too much. You really care about this person. It's coming above the Empress's head here. So I feel like with this king, yeah, see, this is what you're wanting. You're wanting stability. You want you want somebody who's solid, stable, and dependable. You don't want to waste your time with an F boy. You don't want somebody who's there for a good time, not a long time. Even though he's not coming in as a player, he's coming in as the King of Wands, and the King of Wands can still be a bit of a player. You want stability here. That's what I'm feeling. Like you're tired of the nonsense. That's why here somebody wanted you heartbroken and out in the cold to have a victory. Being divinely guided to be single here because of strife, jealousy, competition, and passionate communication about moving forward. So in other words, I've had enough of this nonsense and I'm out of here. I don't need to waste my time on this. Um, I'm, I, I, don't, I deserve better than that. And making this decision, really thinking it through about moving on. Manifesting. Yeah, see? Okay. This is why I felt like up here, when somebody, when somebody's energy is they want a victory, they want the victory of you being left out in the cold and heartbroken, I feel like there's trickery being done. So that's their thing. They're manipulative, they're narcissistic, whatever. It doesn't have to be, you know, that there's magic involved. But manipulation, secrets not speaking okay there's going to be justice a high priestess magic that's kind of a combination of somebody who knows what they're doing and they do it well uh not only that they can harm you you know what i'm saying this could be pretty strong magic here high priestess magic okay but there's going to be justice here there's going to be justice you've made a decision you're thinking it through about moving on but i feel like if somebody was doing trickery you're going to get justice in this case Okay, you're getting justice for whatever was toxic. Whatever the devil was trying to do, you're getting justice from that toxic third party. You're getting you're going to have justice, Gemini, for this for that toxic third party. Look who's showing up. Emperor energy. Emperor. King Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is the Empress in the minor arcana. Okay. This is the single version up here with that nine of, of Pentacles, but realistically. The minor arcana empress is the queen of pentacles, emperor, just like you're here with the emperor, the, the king of pentacles and the empress. You see what I'm saying? There is definitely a new bond coming. So there's going to be justice for you for whatever this is under the bottom of the deck. You've got the 1111 card, which is your twin flame. So, guys, I'm going to get some energy or some oracle cards for you and see what comes up. So, Holy Spirit, angel, spirits, and guides. Oops. These two want to come. Look at this. Love and commitment. Love and commitment. Under the bottom of the deck. Well-being. Okay. So I feel like your happiness is going to be in this loving relationship once you get past all the burden and you get past all the nonsense. And the and the someone acting like a player and uh, having multiple options and you know this is it's your decision you 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 could be daydreaming about this that was your energy or or that could have been your option you could have gone forward and and gone with somebody else. The answer is no to something here, but there is a cycle of and big dreams. Refocus. Refocus on your big dreams. They're closing out of a cycle. What's the no for? No, you're not going to be alone. I feel like you're not going to be alone here. This is this is not you're not going to end up by yourself here. So this cycle's closing out and they're saying refocus on your big dreams. Very good energy for you. Now I have started using this new deck and I really, really love this deck. So let's see what you get. So Holy Spirit, Angel, Spirits and Guides. Clarity and guidance for Gemini. I'm going to take that one. Reach for the stars. Reach for the stars and strengthen your gifts. So I feel like you already have spiritual gifts, but they're saying strengthen your gifts. Focus on those things and reach for the stars. Accept disappointments gracefully and, and face your shadow. 
face things head on and you can overcome them quicker. That's a fact. So Jim and I, I think I'm gonna take this to the extended for you and get you some more clarity. So if this resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you over in Vimeo for the extended.